Okay then, so well, uh, first of all, uh, thanks for, for attending the, uh, this last talk. And as, as Keith mentioned, uh, my name is Jerome Samson. I'm a full stack engineer at CoreLogic, and I'm gonna talk about a CO Lambda, uh, a, a project that I've been working on called CO Lambda uh, that is within the CO ecosystem. So CO Lambda is a AWS Lambda runtime uh, that allows you to, to build your Lambda function entirely with CO. And this runtime is only CO2 Direct uh, compatible and it's compatible as well with Lambda layers and GraalVM. So now let's talk about some of the problems mm -hmm. or pains that let me uh, start this project. As a Scala developer, uh, if you want to uh, build Lambda function, you only get to use the, the Java runtime that AWS provides you. Uh, but using the Java runtime comes with uh, several drawbacks. The first one is that it's, it requires a, a lot of boilerplate. For example, if you try to create your custom events, you end up having a lot of boilerplate that we are not used to, to see as a Scala developers. And also, if you want to, to use Grand VM for your Lambda functions, uh, you have to, to implement a custom runtime yourself because uh, AWS doesn't provide it uh, for you. Another problem is that using Java runtime is not uh, CO beginning friendly, as we are gonna see later, because if you use it wrong, you can affect the performance of your, of your Lambda function. So now let's see uh, how CO Lambda solve all these problems. Here we can see an example of our custom events for, for the Java runtime. And, and as you can see, there are I mean, there is a lot of boilerplate for a simple class. And that's because um, in order to get the Java runtime parse the event for you automatically, you have to add an empty constructor first. So the Java runtime knows how to, to create an instance of your, of your event. You have to add a bunch of setters for, for, for your fields, so the Java runtime now knows how to, to populate them, and also you have to make them mutable if you want to get those setters uh, work. But with CO Lambda, it's a totally story because you get to use uh, case classes, because this is something that you cannot do with the Java runtime because uh, Java runtime, uh, the Java doesn't know anything about uh, case classes. And also, as CO Lambda depends on CO JSON, the only requirement that you have to meet is that you have to add a single line to create the JSON decoder for your custom event. Another problem that I want to talk about here is that, uh, yeah, as I said before, the uh, using Java runtime is not CO being friendly, and here we have uh, an example. Here we have uh, two services. One of them is, let's say, that is providing a database connection to the other one, and the other one just has a simple function that prints out a message uh, to the console. And this function is being called by the, the, uh, the Lambda function that we can see here below. If we look closer to, to this uh, Lambda function, uh, we can spot a performance issue here. And the issue here is that in every invocation of this Lambda, those services that we can see here will be always recreated. It doesn't matter uh, whether it's a cold start or warm start, and uh, they will be always recreated. And um, this is something that is not obvious for, for everyone that just started uh, working with CO in, uh, on their Lambdas. But with CO Lambda, this is a totally uh, story because uh, every Lambda function uh, written with CO Lambda has 
always to return a C effect directly to, to, the, to the runtime. Another benefit that I, that I want to talk about here is that, uh, and I think that it's the most compelling one, is that if you want to, to use GraalVM because you want to get a cold, a faster cold start and lower memory, uh, memory consumption, you don't need to implement the runtime yourself. Because every Lambda uh, function in, uh, written with zero Lambda comes with the custom runtime built, built in already. And also, one good thing about zero Lambda is that uh, by extending a single trade, you get to use zero Lambda as a Lambda layer too. And the last benefit that I want to talk about uh, about CO Lambda is that also non-CO users can benefit from CO Lambda. Because the only thing that they have to do is to wrap their entire logic uh, within a CO effect and they will be ready to go. So, so in summary, using CO Lambda requires less boilerplate because you get, used, uh, you get to use uh, case classes for your custom events, and also all Lambda function written with CO Lambda is, uh, is graph VM compatible because you don't need to implement the custom runtime yourself. And also C, uh, CO Lambda is CO beginner friendly because you don't need to be worried about things such as services uh, being restantiated and also non-CO users can also benefit uh, from CO Lambda. Uh, if you want to, to give CO Lambda a try, you can just add it uh, to your list of dependency, and also CO Lambda offers uh, two extra dependencies that you may be interested in. One of them is CO Lambda event, which uh, has the, the most common events in AWS, and CO Lambda response, which is the same thing, but for, for the responses. And the last thing is that CO Lambda event and CO Lambda response, uh, response are still in progress, so uh, any contributions are welcome. And if you have any question about CO Lambda itself, feel free to reach out to me in CO Discord server, or you can also reach out to me in LinkedIn and also in tonight's dinner. Thank you very much. Thank you.